Welcome back everyone. This is your first ever machine learning algorithm that you are going to learn. Today we are going to start with a supervised learning algorithm that is regression. Now before jumping into regression, we are going to start with what is regression analysis? Why do we need a regression? And then we are going to look into different forms of regression. Now regression is a supervised learning algorithm. What I mean by supervised learning algorithm is we will be having a target variable of it. So for each and every feature, so let's say the feature is experience. So this might be X, then the target variable will be salary. Okay. X are the features and Y is the salary. Let's look into what exactly is regression analysis. It's a statistical method to model the relationship between a dependent and independent variable with one or more independent variables to make it quite clear we have a dependent variable and we have an independent variable if these things are not making sense once we look into a bit of maths in of linear regression we will be having a good picture of it in a nutshell it's a process of estimating the relationship between the dependent and the independent variable so what is the dependent variable so let's say we have exp and salary we have two things over here so we can say that exp is the independent variable and salary is the dependent variable how exp we can say if the experience is somewhere five years then your salary will go up so let's say e equals to five then your salary goes up if e is four it goes down then again if e is again only is experience is one years then again it will go down so your salary is a function of experience where experience is totally independent it doesn't matter it doesn't depend on any other variable so your salary totally lies on your experience if you have more experience you will be having a pretty much handsome salary if you have less experience you will be having quite a less salary than that so that's about linear regression. Now, one thing that you should be noting out over here is regression analysis helps in the prediction of a continuous variable. If you don't know what exactly we mean by continuous variable, let me break it out for you. We have two kinds of variable, probably three kinds. That is one is the categorical vari variables where we have uh, gender or we can have different kind of you know, uh, male, female. Apart from that, we have two other variables that is discrete variable and continuous variables. And discrete variables are countable in a finite amount of time. And continuous variables are numeric variables that lie, uh, numerous n number of variables that lie between any two numbers. So what I mean by this is, uh, so let's take an example of a class. In a class, of students we can say that there are 50 girls okay this 50 over here is a discrete variable which is again countable but if i tell you that uh, what are the different height of each and every girl in the class so it will be in a very much variable state so uh, a girl can be a five feet one and she might be five feet two so we don't have a fixed number okay uh, let's take one more example if we say the number 2, 2 is again a discrete variable. So it's a fixed number. Now, if I say all the numbers lying between 1 to 2, this is a continuous variable. How? Between these numbers, we can have numerous. So we can have 1.00001. We can have 1.00001. So all of these are continuous variables. Now, the main thing, the takeaway from this should be that regression analysis is done on prediction of continuous variable. There are various scenarios in real world where we need some kind of prediction. And that is where we use regression analysis. So it's a statistical method used in machine learning to predict continuous variables. Let's look into a quick example of it. So here we have the number of college graduates with master degree in US per year. So in 2001, we have somewhere 1.2, 2002, we have 
uh, sorry 1.3 similarly we have some uh, some points so the main objective of linear regression is that we have to predict out and best fitting line so we will just predict out a line over here if you see and from this line we can just say that what are the future predictions so for 2013 we can say that someone of 2013 there will be somewhere between 1.8 and 1 2.0 so that is 1.85 so they will be having 1.85 million graduates in the year 2013 similarly we can predict it for 2018 and further and further so that is how regression analysis helps us so we can just predict out the future whatever future points we can have so these is so let's take this till here is our features or our training data okay so this is the feature and this is the prediction for each feature we have a prediction over here so this is the training data from this training data what we do is we predict or we create a straight line and from this straight line we can predict all of these points these are predictions so that's it for this in our next video we are going to know a bit more about regression analysis and then we are going to jump into linear regression